Wow. This is what self-love is all about. Like, this is what it's about. I decided to take myself on a a self-made retreat for my birthday, my 30th birthday, as y'all can see. And I just booked a hotel, stayed local, um, spent the day at the spa, obviously spent the day at the nail salon, pampering myself. I had a friend over and today is the day that I'm diving into my rituals, okay? Now, my rituals include morning stretch, gratitude in everything, okay? Gratitude in everything. Um, I'm going to get deeper into it, but... Something happened to me this morning. Something happened to me this morning. I woke up and my phone was, it was obviously working, but my phone screen, my my screen was black and I could feel the vibrations. My phone was going off. My phone was working and I couldn't see nothing on it. Okay. So it was working, but I couldn't see it, see that it was working. And I feel like that was a lesson in itself to trust source whatever your source is Yahweh God Hindu Jewish Christian Catholic whatever your God may be universe um anything now when I had my homegirl in here we was trying to get the phone to work okay we we YouTubed it we figured out how to do it I did that it didn't work it wouldn't come on at all when I tell you The conversations that me and my friend was having was about fatherhood, not fatherhood, our fathers and our fathers. Her dad died or her dad passed suddenly on a heart attack at at a younger age. And I bonded with her and empathized with her because my dad is just turned 70 and he had a heart attack. eight years ago and survived and I was at home I think I was the only one at home when he drove himself to the hospital now when she left the room I said it I said, I don't know what it is. My phone is going to work. I'm going to turn it on. And I did the same three little steps that I had been doing the whole time. But when she left, that phone turned on instantly. I literally only did it one time. And so, to me, what that was, was it's a confirmation for me to know the celestial and astral powers that I possess over and over again, situation after situation after situation. It has been so powerful. I'm quiet because every time I start talking about things like this, it gets me so passionate. I just want to jump out of my seat, but I learned that instead of jumping out of my seat, I want to be like Oprah. I want to have a seat. I want to sit so humbly in my seat because I'm taken back by something so great, so powerful. I want to have a 
a humble seat. My life is truly amazing. My life is amazing because I have powers within myself. I'm just I'm just sitting with my energy right now. I am just sitting with my energy. It's okay to just be still. You know, it was in this stillness that I found myself. And I'm not talking about the, the self that other people wanted me to be. I'm not talking about the self that I thought I should be. I'm not talking about the self that I used to be. I'm talking about my truth. I really hope that when you when you feel me pause and and I'm not saying anything I really hope that you're feeling my energy And if you're not, I can give you some. Because it's so healing. So extremely peaceful. I have no desire to convince people that I am this. I don't care that much about the next person's opinion of me. And what a blessing that is because, oh gosh, I remember when I did and what that did to me and how that affected me and how I carried myself based on somebody else's opinion of me. I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I just randomly became who I am. Truth is, Since I was about 17 years old, I've been putting in the work. I didn't know I was putting in the work. I didn't know when I started writing in journals and writing poems and studying kinesiology and getting into fitness. And then years later, getting into meditation and feeling these strong feelings all the time and reading these audiobooks. 
I didn't know that it was refining, rerouting, taking away all of the things, breaking down barriers that everybody tried to stack on me. I didn't know that. You know, my favorite thing to do is reflect. My favorite thing to do is journal. My favorite thing to do is learn something new. My favorite things to do is work out. I love listening to audiobooks. Somehow in, in this city life, when I was 22 years old and I had just moved to Dallas to pursue this adventurous life, this busy, this fast paced, going, 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 masculine, energetic life. I did not know. It made me feel like I was always chasing something. And now, as I sit here in my divinity, I have no care in the world to chase anymore. I just create and receive. I am so grateful. I am so thankful. And I'm walking in my power intentionally, rightfully, effortlessly, abundantly, humbly. This is 30. This is 30. This is 30. And most people, they turn 30 and they're like, well, welcome to 30 Club where, you're, where your bones start cracking, where you start putting on weight if you if you eating, if you busting down grapes, you're just putting on weight. Something gonna start aching today or tomorrow. No, not for me. Not for me. I'm 30 and grateful. I'm 30 and learning. I'm 30 and abundant. I'm 30 in courage. I'm 30 in adventure. I'm 30 in youth. I'm 30 in loving awareness. I'm 30 and happy with who I am. I'm 30 and healthy. I'm 30 and vital. The best thing you can ever do for you is live in your truth you don't have to brush it under a rug 
you don't have to see it as negative or positive. You don't have to try to convince people that you're one way when you're going through things. Well, I'm I'm going through this, but I'm I'm still happy. Yes, I'm I'm going through a traumatic event. Yes, I may be going through a divorce, but I gotta keep my head up. Ultimately, yes. But it is okay to meet yourself where you are. You don't have to meet yourself halfway. You can meet yourself where you are now, right now. So I challenge you to meet yourself where you are. If you got up this morning and you're unhappy with your life, if you got up this morning and you're sad because somebody you loved passed away, if, you're, if you got up this morning and you are happy and you want to journal, if you got up this morning and you're driving in your car, if you got up this morning and you had to feed your kids and you wanted to spend time for yourself first, all you have to do is stop for a moment and meet yourself where you are right now. You don't have to worry about, I want to be in a different place. I can't wait to be in a different space. I can't wait till I'm sad or I can't wait till I'm happy. I'm, 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 I'm messed up right now. I'm depressed right now. My grandmother just passed away. My brother, my friend, my spouse, my lover, they passed away and I'm sad I cannot fucking wait till I get out of this. You don't have to do that. Meet yourself where you are. It's okay to be sad if you're sad. Be sad. Take that energy. Be sad, go sit with yourself. Hold it, gather it, collect it, and let it go. That is what it means to meet yourself where you are. You don't have to wish feelings away. Wish I wish I got to a better I wish I'm getting to a better place. I wish I was in a better space mentally, physically, emotionally. I wish my circumstances was different. Bloom where you are planted right now. And that's why I created something so beautiful. My baby, my Lotus coaching. Because for years, I used to wish I was in a different place. I used to wish I was in a different space up here. But I used to look in my environment and think, damn, I'm fucked up right now. Like, I can't wait to get out of this. And I snatched up my power, baby. I get, I, I got it back. I realized and I collected myself in the now. 
I met myself where I was. I didn't wish him away anymore. I sat with myself. I'm sitting with myself now. I'm sitting. I am. And I realize that instead of looking and wishing, I met myself where I was. I went within. If I felt sad, I experienced it. And I let it go. And when I released all of the the entities that <laughs> I know those that understand what I'm saying understand me. This is my tribe. It is when you make a choice that you realize you had it all along. Just be you authentically for real for real you don't have to sit here and compare yourself to others to wish you were in somebody else's shoes you don't know what it took for that person to get where they are and if you think that it only took greatness to get there you are sadly mistaken because the polarity of life says for every up there's a down for every left there's a right for every positive there's a negative for every strength there's a weakness for every energy there's a masculine and a divine masculine and a feminine please just be you if you didn't get nothing else from this, understand. It's okay. Not the the you from childhood. Ooh, my stomach. <laughs> Not the you that you thought you had to be from your parents giving you your destiny or your your future or saying these things about you and you agreeing with it. Not the you that's hurt. You have to shed all of that away to find the you that is meant. And so now, because I've been on here for a little bit, I'm about to go ahead and start my day. As I said in the beginning, I'm this is my day to be me. This is my day to indulge in my rituals. And I'm going to do that 100%. I'm going to show up for me today. So I'm about to go journal, stretch, meditate, pray, journal, write, read, journal. And love me. What they say? They say they replace God with manifest, and I don't like that. <laughs> you are one, baby. You are one. Y'all have a great day. And thank you so much for watching. Please do consider subscribing to my channel. And have a blessed day. Bye.